has been excellent. And we will introduce at least one, if not two, new programs in fall 2013 as well. We have managed to attract a considerable number of new faculty with PhD and MS degrees from some of the best universities around the world. Creation of new research and teaching labs and upgradation of existing ones are in progress. Hostel and academic facilities are being expanded to accommodate up to 2,000 students compared to around 1,400 now. One of the upshots of that has been that people now tell me, the students tell me, that they have to wait three minutes to get their chapati in the hostel. Now, as the numbers grow, we have to learn to stand in line and be a little patient. We were therefore not surprised when GIK was ranked as the top engineering university, not only in the private sector and in the KPK province. I suspect, sir, that you will feel a little pride that we here in GIK would rank number one in KPK. Four years ago, the parents and families entrusted you, the parents and families, entrusted your children to our custody, expecting that the Institute will turn these adolescents into ladies and gentlemen of high professional caliber. We are proud to have contributed our share in this effort. And so must you, the parents, for which I commend you. My heartiest congratulations go out to all the boys and girls who will be receiving their degrees and medals today, both undergrad and postgraduate. While I wish you the best in your future endeavors, I have some expectations of you. This beloved nation of ours is in turmoil. There is anger all around us. You can see it on the streets, in educational institutions, in the media. In fact, it's in the air. Cars will deliberately run over pedestrians. People will jostle and elbow each other for petty benefits. The slightest disagreement and one is likely to grab the other by the collar. The slightest provocation and knives and guns come out, if not bazookas. No one says thank you. No one says sorry. No one says please. It's all take and no give. There is no sense of social responsibility or civility left in this beautiful land. And tolerance, what can I say? I can say, however, and with some pride, that the GIK Institute, located in these backwaters, almost literally, the Tarbela Lake is next door, is one of the few islands of discipline, harmony, and tranquility, and to a great extent, civility in the country. And I pray to Allah to keep it that way. Take the example of Project Topi, where the students themselves fund and run, without any fanfare, social programs to help those to help those in need in the villages around the Institute. For all this, I salute the students of the Institute, particularly the seniors who are graduating today. They have been wonderful. I also commend their parents and families for the upbringing of their children and our faculty for the efforts they have put in year after year to produce graduates who excel in academics even while maintaining high moral and ethical standards. I look at these students and it gives me hope. I can see the spark and sense the enthusiasm in them to go out and change things for the better. So go out and do it. Lead by example, spread the flames of knowledge and goodness and tolerance so that my grandchildren can enjoy the many bounties of this great country, much, much as I did many decades ago. I thank you, sir. Engineer Shamsul Malk. 
President, Society for the Promotion of Engineering Sciences and Technology in Pakistan, and President, Board of Governors of the GIK Institute, is now requested to kindly deliver his speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. Masood Kosa, Governor of North Pukhtun Khwa Province. I would like to note also uh, our friends that have, who have come from even as far as Karachi and not the least Hamayun Safura Khan. Mr. Rector, and Mr. Executive Director. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a Urdu in Urdu, so I will say that I will say that the Director of 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 the हमेशा खवातीन ही जीतते हैं। <coughs> And uh, I would like to tell you also that I love it. <coughs> आज मैं आप सबको खुदामदेद कहना चाहता हूँ। हमारे साथ कुछ ऐसे लोग भी हैं जिनको उर्दू नहीं आती तो उनके लिए मेरा ख्याल में इज्जती होगी कि मैं पूरी तकरीर उर्दू में करूं अंग्रेजी में जाना पड़ेगा करियर का तो ईद के दिनों में उनको एक ईद कार्ड आएगी जिस पर ईद मुबारक होगा उस पर दस्तखत शमसुल मुल्क के होंगे और उसके साथ एक फिक्र होगा कि ईद मुबारक के साथ साथ जितने भी आप ऊंचा जाएंगे इतने ही हम खुश होंगे तो ये बात हम सच्ची सच बोल रहे हैं आपको और यही बात मेरे ख्याल में हमारी इस इंस्टीट्यूट की एक बड़ी ही अच्छी रिवायत है आई एम सॉरी Mr. Governor, I was not here last year when you came. You were so kind to have come last year and this year also by my, because of my ailment. And today, <coughs> this is a 400, this is uh, 142 students who are graduating. They are entering now a different world, a world which was which is different than when they came into this institute. I was recently reading an article which said that a person who joins an engineering degree course of four years, when he reaches the final year, whatever he has read in the first year has become outdated. This is the the way the knowledge is now coming up into the market and for people. The life now is will be very challenging, far more challenging than you have seen ever before. And challenging also, because recently I was reading somewhere, Professor Einstein's famous quote, he said, I have no special talents. I have only passionate curiosity. Passionate curiosity. It is this passionate curiosity which starts you on this knowledge, enormous knowledge, enormous journey to pursue knowledge, to pursue answers for that knowledge. And the world of even knowledge acquisition is becoming more complex 
because as uh, the former Defense Secretary of the United States, Donald Rimsfield said that, I know what I know, I also know what I do not know, but I do not know what I do not know. Because the area of the area which we do not know is so enormous, is so big. It is not a job of one generation, it is not a job of ten generations. It is perhaps if the human species are to, are to last and live for thousands of years, this continuous journey will, continue, will, will, will be there. You will be trying to know what you do not know. You will be entering that area which today you do not know that you do not know. So this is a very important challenge for all of you. I have always been saying that 21st century is a far more different century than the 20th century was. I have said it in the 20th century to be good for sufficient for you to move ahead in life. Not anymore. Good is no longer sufficient for you to move ahead. You have to be excellent. Excellence is the rule of the game. And you could understand what you need to do to be excellent. Let me also tell you that God blesses some people with intelligence far better than Shamsul Mulk has. But it doesn't mean that Shamsul Mulk has no chance in life. Provided he, provided he is willing to, 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 to compensate it by hard work and commitment for the pursuit of knowledge. These are the areas which you have to look into. These are the areas which we have to see. I have known one more thing in life. And that is that never stay back from a challenge. Never consider that you cannot face it. Never feel that you are unequal to it. You have to do only a little bit of it, follow that discipline. And what is the discipline? Examine yourself. Do you have the knowledge to address that problem? Do you have the skill? Do you have the resources? And finally, do you have the commitment to succeed? And if you have that, do not be afraid of committing mistakes. Let me tell you this. Never be afraid of committing a mistake. If you are willing to learn from it. If you are willing to learn from a mistake, then it is no longer a mistake, it is a price of knowledge. Never hide your mistakes. And in life, speak the truth. Recently someone asked me, what I would indicate a problem of the society. And it just came to my mind. I said, the famine of truth. That is the problem. When you are not willing to speak the truth, you are not willing then to improve. You are not willing to reform then. If you are not willing to even speak the truth, then what else? So please, this is the area which also you have to consider, which I told you. The world is very large. I think even the international borders are now slowly and steadily evaporating. And let me tell you, there no border can be so tough and strong as to resist the temptation of movement 
of competence and excellence and knowledge across it. If you have that, you will become a citizen of the world because you will be able to, to go across any obstacle that might come in your way. And you have the, and, 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 and I think, I'm sure that you have the uh, uh, commitment to be able to achieve that. I'm not going to give you a long lecture on what to do here and there. I'm just here, actually, I had lost my speech. And I thought I must have to say something to my people. For the uh, Khalik spent uh, a good time on preparing one for me, but uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry for the Khalik. I'm so sorry. I couldn't really do that, but I thought I must speak from my heart. And so I have spoken from my heart. Wishing good luck. Thank you. The Governor, Heber Pakhtunkhwa, Barrister Masood Gother is now requested to address the congregation. Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Mr. Jahangir Bashir, Rector, Mr. Shamsul Mulk, Mr. Shokat Hamid, Professor Fazl Khalid. Prorector, uh, His Excellency Ambassador of uh, Belgium, um, and this, uh, members of the, uh, the graduating students, their parents, very dear students. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's always uh, this is the second time I am visiting your university, this, this institute. Uh, although I become a now professional uh, a man who keeps on giving away the degrees and gold medals, although I was not very lucky myself to receive any gold medal in my life. So any one of you who hasn't received a gold medal in his lifetime, he can always aspire to become governor of Khyber <laughs> Pukhtun. Uh, in the beginning, when Shamsul Mulk Saab came, he said that uh, finally the ladies have won. I think he learned it at a very late stage. <laughs> but I tell you that uh, this is very true and I totally agree with him. And from my experience now, that I've uh, been to almost more than a dozen convocations in different universities of Khyber Pukhtunkhwa. And it's very, uh, it's always a pleasant surprise, and it's no longer a surprise now, that the majority of the gold medalists, they are girls. 
And uh, I was just counting here also, but I think I might be disappointed. Uh, and another uh, uh, pleasant surprise for the girls, wherever a male student gets a gold medal, so as a token of appreciation from the Governor Khabar Pakhtunkhwa, I announced rupees 10,000 for him. But if a girl, now this is the, if a girl wins a gold medal, I announced 20,000 for her. And I being a lawyer, I being a lawyer, fully conscious of the fact that in every inheritance according to our law, a female or a sister or a daughter gets half the share of a male brother. So this is also to compensate you, ladies. Uh, no wonder this is one of the best institutions that we have in this country. And obviously, institutions are founded by individuals. The institutions are promoted by individuals. The institutions, in some cases, are conceived by individuals. And it's like a dream, it's like a vision. And when your vision comes true, your dream comes true, maybe sometimes during your lifetime, and sometimes after your life. But the fact remains, wherever you are, you are always proud of the achievements you have made, and particularly in the field of education. You see, unfortunately, uh, let me uh, again tell you that on the 